Have you ever heard of short bowel syndrome? If you haven't, you're not alone. Often called short bowel, short gut, or short gut syndrome, the correct term for the rare disease is short bowel syndrome, or SBS. It is difficult to estimate the number of people with SBS because it is not well documented. But SBS is thought to affect around 10,000 to 20,000 adult and pediatric patients in the United States. The small intestine, or small bowel, is an organ in the gastrointestinal tract where most of the absorption of nutrients from food and water takes place. It is located between the stomach and large intestine. SBS is a serious and chronic malabsorption disorder that most often occurs when parts of a person's intestines are surgically removed, leaving some remaining intestine which may not be able to absorb enough nutrients from food and drink. Malabsorption is known as difficulty in the digestion or absorption of nutrients from food and puts people at risk for malnutrition, electrolyte disturbances, dehydration, and diarrhea or increased outputs. Although bowel resections may lead to SBS, no two journeys to a diagnosis are the same. Genetic or birth conditions, Crohn's disease, injury from trauma, and complications from surgeries can all lead to an SBS diagnosis. Monica, currently living with SBS, says, I was not initially diagnosed with SBS. Following an early resection surgery due to my Crohn's, I lost my entire colon as a junior in high school but it wasn't until a small resection surgery within the last 10 years that doctors finally called it short bowel syndrome. Gabriella, mother of a child with SBS, says, My son was born with gastroschisis, a birth defect which led to the loss of most of his small and large intestines. At the time, I didn't understand just how important intestines are or how rare SBS is. Matt, currently living with SBS, says, my introduction to SBS was abrupt following trauma from a car accident, which caused my intestines to need to be removed. One day I was a college basketball player and homecoming king. The next I woke up in the ICU being told I would likely never eat or drink again. Despite the different circumstances that can lead to an SBS diagnosis, many people with SBS face similar challenges in maintaining proper nutrition and hydration. Often, people with SBS will initially require parenteral support, or PS, to meet their nutrition and hydration needs. Parenteral support delivers fluids and or nutrition intravenously through the veins. PS can range from fluid electrolytes to a complete mix of nutrients. This mix can also be customized to a person's specific nutritional needs, known as total parenteral nutrition, or TPN. SBS management goals often include reducing or eliminating the use of long-term parenteral support. For example, Matt indicated that TPN is no longer his only source of nutrients. Today, he takes in approximately 70% of his nutrition from TPN and approximately 30% from food. Some patients with an ostomy may also have SBS. There are many different types of ostomies. An ostomy is a result of a surgical procedure which changes the way urine or stool leaves the body. If you or someone you love is living with SBS, there are steps you can take to help manage the changes and challenges that come with an SBS diagnosis. Asking questions to better understand SBS and taking an active role in your or your loved one's care can make meaningful differences in how you navigate daily life with SBS. Keeping the lines of communication open with your care team and advocating for yourself or your loved one with SBS are key. Ashley, mother of a child with SBS says, just as the community encourages me and reminds me that I am not alone, I hope to encourage others who may just be starting out on their SBS journey or struggling along the way. Fortunately, you are not alone there is a community of people living with SBS who can support you when you have questions, when you feel frustrated or misunderstood, or when you are looking for more information or resources. Monica offers hopeful words of advice. Don't let SBS get in the way. Know that it's there, know that it's part of your life, but don't let it be your life. Don't limit yourself because you are afraid of what might happen. Go live your life so you can look back without regret. 
To learn more about SBS, please visit sbs-whattoknow.com and join the community on the Short Bowel Syndrome Facebook page at facebook.com slash Takeda SBS. <music>